Hey guys, I'm Asia and welcome back to another episode. Uh, last episode we built a simple reactor um, and we saw last time how the uh, the rotor blades were actually flickering in and out and that's because of the steam that the, uh, uh, the plant generates as it escapes so of course it's graphical glitches so what we're going to do today is we're going to fix that so we're going to stop the uh, graphical glitches by um, stopping the steam from escaping and the only way you can do that properly is to collect it with a condenser which we're going to make now so you need some uh, cooling fins, a reservoir, two liquid pipes, some steel ingots and a base panel, pretty work table of course, base panel at the top, on the top corners steel ingots, reservoir in the center, cooling fins at the bottom and then the two liquid pipes in the empty space this gets us our condenser. So let's go and chuck that on there now. Now normally what a condenser would be used for is to collect the steam vapor and then uh, send the, let's go, uh, it should send the steam as uh, low pressure water. Oh, no, I was going to write something in there but it was because I was talking. Eh, at mod, oh. Okay, so it sends the low pressure steam to a machine, where is it? this one to a pressurizer which pressurizes the low pressure water back into water and then that water can go back into the system to be turned into steam again but that requires power and we've pretty much got infinite water so we don't really need to collect the water we've used we I'm gonna for the time being I'm going to void it now normally you definitely want to use one of these uh, uh, pressurizers to uh, collect the, the liquid back if you say using something like ammonia gas um, one because you can't make infinite supplies of ammonia gas and you yeah so we're gonna need to get some liquid pipes need to get a, a tank for storage and liquid and some fluid ducts to move the fluids around and we're gonna need to make a void pipe and then we're gonna need to turn the void pipe into a uh, liquid void pipe so void pipes are pretty easy this glass uh, either an ink sack or a black piece of ink and one piece of redstone will get you eight void pipes and then just put one pipe sealant on there that's come from cactus of course uh, let's see onto it and you get a void fluid pipe so what we're gonna do is okay let's get rid of this cobblestone uh, let's void it off to the side okay so as you can see the water will come out the top of the condenser so you attach the pipes to the top and we're going to run it off to the side first and then we're going to put a tank just to collect the low pressure water and then we're going to put a full duct pipe in there and then we're going to attach a void pipe to the end of that and I think I've got a servo, so I don't need to put a redstone switch. Have I got a servo? Servo, servo, servos. Maybe use them all. Not in there, not in there. Here, yes, there we go. One last servo. Yay. And where's the tool? The tool. The prison hammer. Gonna need that. Excellent. Okay, I'm gonna put on the top one. Make sure it's got a redstone signal to begin with. So it's ignored, yes. Turn it to output mode, and as soon as the low pressure water goes into that tank, it should be drawn out and into the pipe. Into the void pipe. Okay, so all we've got to do now is start the the uh, the plan up, the reactor. So let's just put a Let's just chuck all of it in there for the time being. Okay, have I got the angular transducer? No, I do not. Ooh. There we go. It hasn't heated up just yet. Let's 
getting hotter. Now it's getting hotter. Yep, there we go. And as you can see, the steam goes up into the condenser. As you can see, I've already built a glass uh, housing for this. One to stop bats and oh, so forth from getting into the turbine and getting it, making, uh, damaging it. That's the word. Damaging it. So essentially the steam comes up into the condenser. As you can see, the condenser fills up with water. Of low pressure water, you can see. And it's got a, a maximum of 12 buckets. So it then goes out the pipe. Goes into the tank. And then gets sucked out into this void pipe. And now, as you can see, the reactor, the blades aren't flickering. Um, all the other rotary craft stuff isn't flickering as well as it did last time. I'm probably getting 67 or so million watts at the moment. It's pretty good. Um, I should also mention that uh, last episode when we did do this reactor, um, that this isn't actually, well, this isn't exactly the proper way of doing these reactors. Now, normally these reactors would have hot carbon gas coming out of the top of this one and then going into a heat exchange and then you would have steam boilers next to the heat exchange. Uh, we're going to get to the point right where we're going to actually make a, a proper design. However, I haven't found a design yet so far that produces so much power with so little parts and of course so, much, so little amount of fuel as well. But we'll get to it. Um, yeah. So there we go, that's how you fix uh, the flicking of rotary blades. Um, yeah. So that's it guys, uh, please like, comment and subscribe, you know, if you want to see more and stuff. Um, and until next time guys, <coughs>